morning welcome back to my channel today is going to be an abercrombie fall haul i was so excited to do this i absolutely love these i got these like last year the sherpa shirt jacket or whatever it's called i just call them the shackets anyway i absolutely love these and the temps dropped here now they're back up to 70s and i'm here for it but they dropped the other day and I pulled these out for the first time and I absolutely, I still love them. Probably love them now even more than I did before because I'm breastfeeding. So anything with buttons that I can easily open is just super nice. But I got a bunch of questions about them on Instagram and I checked to see if they had more this year. They do. And then a lot of you said you wanted to see like a full Abercrombie haul. So here we are. Let's get right on into it. I'm so excited. I actually went into the store to try items on right now. I'm still four months postpartum, still kind of in between sizes. And I feel like their sizing is kind of inconsistent. Sometimes mediums fit me really well. Other times I put on a medium and it's huge and I'm swimming in it. So I did go into the store. There was a couple items I was planning on getting that they either didn't have my size in or I tried them and I was like, heck no, these look ridiculous on me. We'll get into that, but I will have everything listed and linked down below as well as my sizes. Let's get right on into it. We're gonna start off with the jeans because I basically paired all of the tops with the pair of jeans I got and I absolutely love these. Um, I'm still getting a size up than I used to be. So I'm now getting a size 28, which is a six. Makes sense. I am more of a size six in all of my active wear now, but these jeans are my favorite. I have a couple pairs of them from last year and the past couple of years, but as you just heard me say, they don't really fit me anymore because they're fours and the sixes have been fitting me much better. So these are the 90s relaxed jean high rise. I think these fit so flattering. Obviously it's a high rise and then they have the distressed one side of the knee. They do offer these in a bunch of different washes some of them have rips others don't so i love that they have a lot of different options for these although i was a little resistant on like the flare pants coming back and straight leg and everything like that um, i actually love these and i have been loving the straight leg look for quite a while all of my jeans from the past couple of years also have the straight fit and i just think they're really flattering so i absolutely love these this light wash with the little tear very cute i do have a pair from last Last year that had this similar tear on it and it is now huge so keep that in mind if you're someone who doesn't like big rips um, these ones that have this little cut on them already I've noticed that they depending on where it hits on you like if you kneel down and it's right where your knee is you're gonna split it open pretty far. That's what happened with my last pair. These ones are a little bit higher so I don't think I'm gonna have that problem when I was trying them on they didn't tear at all um, so these absolutely love. I get questions about these jeans almost every single time I wear them and I always link the same pair because these are my current favorite. The style is really nice and once again they have so many different washes and colors available and like some have the distressed look others do not. Um, so if you ever wonder what jeans I'm wearing they are these. Had to pick up another pair that actually fits me properly right now and doesn't dig into my waist. Uh, since having a baby. Getting into the shirts, I will have all of the actual names listed on the screen. They sent me a receipt via email and it doesn't have any of the product names and I am doing this video while Emmy is napping, AKA we're on a time crunch. I'm not gonna take the time to find all the names. So starting off with, it's a men's item, but it's so soft and comfortable and oversized tees are very in right now. If you're looking for comfortable oversized shirts like graphic shirts, Abercrombie has them, holy cow. If I would have ordered online, I wouldn't have got such a big size, um, but this was literally all they had. So it's a double XL, but I think this is just super cute to pair. I don't know if I would necessarily wear it with jeans. I paired it with the jeans. Comment down below, did that look cute? Can I pull that off? I don't know. But just to wear around the house, this thing, so, so soft. They have a bunch of different teams. It's an oversized fit in general, so you don't need to get a double XL like I did. Um, I probably would have just gotten a medium or a large, but once again, they, they had double XLs and that was it. So here we are, I got them. The material on these is just incredibly comfortable, which is the main reason I got it. Hadn't necessarily jumped on the whole graphic tee train until I got this, and I do think it's pretty cute. Okay, moving into the proper women's items that I was really excited for. They all fit pretty well, but I am glad I went into the store because their sizing seems to have gotten a little bit more inconsistent since the last time I tried them. 
Maybe that's just me. Starting off with this cute cropped long sleeve. It is super stretchy and has that like thin ribbed material. I feel like this is the perfect layering top. It has a very simple collar, which I like. Um, but yeah, it is very thin and very stretchy, which I liked a lot. And the material overall is really soft. I'm a huge fan of basics like this because you saw how well it paired with the jeans. I actually did a buff bunny haul and they had a pair of overalls launching. I tried this on with the overalls. It looked so cute. I also feel like overalls are a big thing right now. I just think this is like the perfect thickness or thinness for me. I always run hot to pair underneath any long sleeve like jacket or something like that going into the fall and winter. Um, so this was a huge win for me. I'm always a fan of the basics. They had this in a bunch of different colors. Size small fit me really well. So if you're like me and just like basic staple items, this is fantastic. We interrupt this try on with the cutest little nugget. I told you it was like in the 70s again. So we're wearing one of her outfits before it before it doesn't fit her anymore. Hi, babe. <gasps> Ooh. Next item up, we have another basic, but it is a bodysuit. I have kind of a love-hate relationship with bodysuits. They're annoying when you need to go to the bathroom, but they're so cute, and I love the fact that they don't come untucked. So I wanted to try this. I thought this neckline was so nice, and the way that the stitching is, it looks like super seamless. Has a nice scoop to it, but not too revealing. And then the shoulders, they don't have like a padding to them or anything, but it is double lined. So I feel like it has more of that structured look, but in general, it's just like a very soft, stretchy, perfect long sleeve. Once again, great for layering. And for the fall and winter, that is like my absolute favorite thing. So the only thing I'm nervous about, I love this light gray color. I'm a sweaty person, we've established that. I feel like you're gonna be able to see pit stains very easily in this. So that's not great, but we all sweat, it's normal, it's fine. Um, the size small fit really well. I will say if you have a long torso like me and you're already kind of in between sizes, I think you could go a size up and be totally fine. I think a medium would have fit me well. Um, it just wouldn't obviously have been as snug. I feel like this kind of looked cute with a tighter fit. I feel like it's intended to be tighter. Um, so just keep that in mind if you're in between sizes or you have a long torso because it is a bodysuit and you have to clip it. If you're between sizes, I think you could easily go up if you're nervous about it like pulling in the back. I didn't notice that with this one. Um, just something I wanted to mention because I know that is normally a problem with bodysuits for me. So I appreciate that theirs are long enough and don't do that. This little top I thought was so cute and I'm a big fan of sweaters like this. One, because I feel like you can't see sweat with colors like this. The ivory is really cute, um, but I love the little crisscross look. I was nervous it was gonna be a little bit too low but it wasn't. I just wore a regular strapless bra with it and it fit really well. It wasn't like too revealing or anything. I don't think it came down too low. That was my one thing. I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't wanna layer anything underneath this, especially because it's a cropped top. That sounded really weird because it's a cropped top, <laughs> a cropped sweater. Um, I didn't wanna layer anything and you don't have to layer anything underneath this. It is a pretty thick ribbed sweater material. Um, but it's very comfortable, nice and stretchy. I thought this fit very true to size. I, would, I wouldn't size up. I think this might be a little bit too big. They have this in multiple colors. They have everything in multiple colors, but this ivory color, and I mean, even just paired with the casual jeans, I thought was a really cute look, but they have leather pants, okay? That was one of the main things I wanted to review because I've seen so many people talk about how amazing these like brown and black leather pants are and how comfortable they are. I tried on a pair there. First of all, they were a size too small, so they were too tight on me. Second, they only had shorts available, like the short length. I'm taller. If I've anything, I need a long versus a regular. I can do regulars, but sometimes the longs work better. The short version looked ridiculous on me, which is why I didn't get them. So might still order them online. Comment below which style you liked, because I feel like the ones I tried were also just not flattering on me, and they looked a lot different than some of the ones I've seen people try online. So I don't know, let me know. But this, great. Getting into some of the true like sweaters and jackets that I got. How cute is this one? It has that like reversed look, like it kind of looks like it's inside out. So comfortable. 
also a waist length so it has a good cropped fit like where you pair it with jeans and your tummy isn't showing but it still hits at that like perfect spot i thought this was adorable no hood it just has this cute collar and then yeah it just it looks like it's inside out but i think it's so cute little zipper and then it has the cuffs on the sleeve so it's not going to be like dragging and anything i thought this was adorable very much my style and just nice in basic. I thought this looked really cute with jeans, but I think you could easily pair it with leggings and just, you know, keep it as a very casual sweater. But I liked this a lot in the small fit. Perfect. Moving right along, we have this cropped button cardigan. I love this. All of my cardigans are super old, very long, like they're the true long cardigan look. They're, I'm telling you, they're like 10 years old. I don't dress up very often, so I struggle buying new, nicer clothes. I just hit myself in the face, nice. Um, because I buy so much activewear, that's what I live in. I feel like so much of my stuff is outdated, and this isn't, although it is like more in style, I don't think it's a trendy look. It's just something that's nice and basic that I can have for a long time. It is more of that oversized fit, which I think is really cute. Um, and it's not too thick or heavy to where you're gonna get too warm. I would probably like right now, I would wear a tank top underneath this, not like a full long sleeve, like the black one I think would be way too hot. Um, but I love the look of this size small fit really well. It is once again oversized, so I definitely think you can stay true to size. You don't need to go up, um, but I absolutely love this. <laughs> I think I've said that about everything, and that's because I went into the store and actually bought stuff that I knew fit and looked cute, so I, I love everything in this haul. But hopefully, I'm giving you guys some cute ideas, and then you can report back and tell me how those leather pants are if you've tried them. Tell you what working from home and trying to not only work from home, but record from home when you have a newborn or just a baby, challenging, very challenging. But we've got three items left. So we're just gonna power through because then I have to go be on mom duty. So this is probably my least favorite thing out of this haul. I'm still trying to figure out if I'm gonna keep it or not. This is like a very trendy, popular pattern right now. So I wanted to try it with the jeans. I thought it would be cute but this kind of collar and just like the thickness of this is normally not my favorite. I have broader shoulders, I'm a little bit more muscular, and I feel like this look, like when it's a thicker sweater and when it comes all the way up and you can't see your collarbones or anything, I don't know, I feel like it normally makes me look bulky, but I thought it looked cute. Let me know below, do you think I should keep this or maybe return it? I liked the pattern a lot, I, just, I, I don't know. Size small fit well. It is kind of oversized, not really oversized. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Comment down below, should I keep it or should I return it? I don't know. As you heard me say in the beginning of this video, these are the main reason I went because I wanted more of them. They're great for breastfeeding right now. This one is like the Sherpa one from last year. I did get one other one, you'll see that in a second. And they do fit a little different, but we'll get there. Um, this one is like a true shacket, which I love. It's a little bit thinner, it's a little bit more oversized, and it has just like that fleece material on the inside, and then it's more of just that straight up cotton material on the outside, which I love. Between these two, this is actually my favorite. I think this is so cute. It has the nice deep pockets and overall just a very nice like oversized fit. You can pair it with light. I think you can pair this with anything. Dress it up, keep it casual. Size small fit fantastic, so I definitely wouldn't recommend going up a size. Um, it is already very oversized. It's nice and long. So these are a huge win. I honestly kind of wish I got one more of these and not another one of these. So I, I, we'll see. I don't know. These are super comfortable. They have it in an olive color. I'll put it on the screen. They have it available in a couple colors. I did like this tan ivory one a lot. Last but definitely not least, as I mentioned, I have this also. I didn't realize I unbuttoned this and I'm truly just wearing a sports bra underneath. This is breastfeeding life, it's fine. This is my one from last year. This one just had little snaps, which I liked a lot. The new version has actual buttons. They're both cute. I feel like the snaps are a little bit more convenient, just like easier to get on and off because this is a thick jacket. Like it has an actual fleece, like fuzzy material on the inside. And then the Sherpa on the outside obviously makes it pretty thick. I feel like this is perfect for the winter. The other one is perfect for the fall. It's definitely a lot thinner. But this one I will also say, I feel like I could have done a medium. The sleeves, you can see when I was doing the try on, the sleeves were a little bit short when I stretched my arms out 
and in general it didn't feel as oversized or maybe it's just because it's not as stretchy so the small still fits i'm going to keep the small um i got a small because these are small so i just assumed it would fit the same but i do feel like it's maybe a hair smaller than the ones from previous years if you've tried those before but i love the all tan or camel color whatever you want to call this i thought this was very cute and i do i like the way the buttons look i think the buttons are a little bit more casual and like cute looking um but it is kind of a pain getting on and off where this one i can just like pop it and all the snaps come undone it's fantastic um so yeah i do like these a lot but the thinner one between the two of like the shackets i think those are fantastic i would recommend those over the sherpa ones which i was surprised by that is gonna be it for the video hopefully you enjoyed it i did also get chris a couple items they had a like oversized pocket tee he likes that a lot. And then I also got him, I'll put a picture on the screen. I think, yeah, he tried it on in my last vlog. They have like guy shackets. It has a nice plaid pattern going on. It looked really nice. So the guy's items are just as nice right now. And I feel like not too trendy. Like it's stuff that you can keep and actually wear for a while. It's not just gonna go out of style. Um, but yeah, I will have everything listed and linked down below. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I enjoyed doing it. It's a nice switch up from only active wear. Uh, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.